Hi there, my name is Sean and today I'm here to introduce you to the event lighting architectural series of lights, in particular the Pixballs 2 which we recently released. A lot of what you'll see here today will be very similar to be able to use with our spots and bars. Let's get into it. So first things first, you'll see on the table I've got a string of Pixballs, I've got a T cable, I've got a power supply, a DMX injector and the ArcW Rider programmer which comes loaded with an SD card with a few presets on there. First things first, I'm gonna connect my T cable to the light, then into the DMX. There are arrows that line up as well, which you may not be able to see. And then we're gonna connect the power supply in the bottom. The lights will come on automatically as I've already got them set to address one and this is outputting red. Now that that is done, you can actually see and click through there are some basic chases which may or may not work depending on how many balls you've got in the run. These static colors are handy for just getting up and running if you just need some fixed colors for the night. You can also program your end scenes and record them to the SD card for playback later. Now that I've shown you how to set up the Pix balls, I'm gonna show you how to set the DMX address for them. First thing I'm gonna do is disconnect the DMX input from the Pix balls and the controller. And then I'm going to use this custom cable, which has got two DMX connectors in it. I'm going to go into the Pix balls, and this is important. And the label B goes into universe 4, and A goes into universe 1. Okay, now that that's done, we're going to go through the program center and the options you've got to select. This will vary for the different pix balls, bars, and spots based on the amount of colors and programming you select. First things first, we've got F. F means a file, so we're gonna click mode. That's gonna take us to the speed of the program. Then we're gonna go N, which is capital N. That's the number of colors. So given these are RGB, we're gonna select three colors. If you have RGBW fixtures, you'd select four. The next is the dot count. That is where you want DMX address one to start. So D01 means that it's gonna be address one, first ball one. If I go two, because it's three channels, that means that the first ball will be addressed to DMX address number four. I'm gonna leave that as one. The next one is the IC. There's a number of different ICs that can be programmed into this. So we're gonna go zero one for the Pix balls. And then N is the channel mode. So this is running three channel RGB. Some may have RGB with dimmer and some may be RGBW. So we're gonna stick with three because they're a three channel fixture in a three channel mode. From there, we're gonna click set and it's gonna run through and then the balls will flash. We're just gonna see the ArcW go through its process. At the end of it, you'll end up back at the menu and they'll be freshly addressed. One of the other great things about our architecture series is that all of these products will take DMX directly in. That means you're not restricted to our program and recorder and you can use any DMX controller you want. So you can see the balls are still receiving DMX from the ArcW. I'm just gonna unplug from there. I'm just gonna plug in to our 192 and as it connects, they'll clear because they're now receiving a new signal which isn't outputting at the moment. As mentioned, these do take RGB, so three channels per ball, which means you'll have 30 channels per string in this case. So first one, you've got your R, G, B, and then you get your second ball from channel four, and so on. So there you have it. That's how you basically control the fixtures and set up the DMX addressing. If you've got any more questions, contact us and we'll be happy to assist.